What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl VGC video. Today I am with the main event. Go ahead, say hi. Go ahead, go ahead. Check, check us out. Uh, working together twice in under a month. Yeah, we had like a we had like a we had like a two month break between the last collab and the one before it. So it, you know, I appreciate you just helping me out because I'm mass recording videos right now, obviously, and I'm trying to get them done before my break, uh, where I'm like you know going on a trip. So uh, hopefully none of the videos age poorly before they go up. But today we're going to be doing a team builder. Uh, we'll be doing the building itself on you know on my channel and if you guys want to see the team in action uh we'll be doing the battles over on main's channel but we don't even know what we're team building around today isn't that right so um i mean like what do you, what do you even <laughs> kind of yeah what, what do you even like want a team builder around today actually so i mean would it be cheating to say for alligator because i kind of already started building kind of already built around it a little bit um but it's a little bit of a cheat. I don't know if the audience <laughs> would care that much. Um, also, well, how about like, what do you think about like, because I'm, since it'll be a showdown, like, what about like an anti kind of like, what, what's really good anti rain stuff? Ooh, that's because... actually a really good idea. So, like, rain right now, you know, we got like Ludicolo and Kingdra is being uh, used, but not as much as Ludicolo. So, it's mostly yeah, Ludicolo, Ludicolo is, and Pelipper. Is the, it, yeah, Ludicolo is the problem. Yeah, I've seen more Ludicolo because... Pelipper than I've seen Polytail Ludicolo, to be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pelipper is annoying, but like, it's Ludicolo all the way because it's just annoying. I like, wait. Hold on. You ready? I just thought of something, yeah. and this is really dumb. I'm like ninety percent sure it gets this move, but if I'm wrong, I'm gonna feel really dumb. It doesn't. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. Okay. Um, anti rain. I I actually have a good one. Lapras. Lapras is a good choice. Um, Cause like, think about it. Like, look at all the matchups we got in this well, metagame. The thing, right? The issue that I've been facing. I mean, I guess because it's bulky, it doesn't matter. And you can give like a Rindo. But, like, mm -hmm. it's the fact that Ludicolo is water grass, and like the grass is the annoying part. Yeah. Because... I'm, but I'm thinking that like, since we're using Stab Freeze Dry, we just always one shot it, and we can run like oh, special yes. defensive with like minimal special attack investment. Yeah, because you always just smoke it regardless. Yeah. Let, let's not lock into that yet. Let's think about other anti-rain, because we might get something, like, really nasty. Like, and there's, like, stupid anti-rain stuff, like Scarf Dodrio, because, like I said, <laughs> it's... Because <like> <laughs> it technically works. Yeah, technically it'll outspeed, you know? Yeah, it'll outspeed in Oko the friggin' Ludicolo, if you know, they don't fake it out, of course. But, like, that thing is just so, so stupid. It's, like... I, mean, I don't know if like it, it, even like Gastrodon against Rain is not a good choice because we call it grass. Yeah. Then, yeah. I mean, technically, <clears throat> Crobat can be considered counter Rain because you can taunt the Tailwind on the yeah. on the uh, Pelipper. Uh, and there's a lot of strange stuff that we could call counter Rain. I mean, as far as Storm Drain Pokemon, like we got Cradilly, but I don't know if Cradilly that's exactly counter. a counter. Um, yeah, it's just so slow. Water Absorb. Got a couple of water absorb mons. Uh, they end up, you know, if we use Cacturn, it's kind of cool, but it would end up losing to Hurricane. Same with Politoed. Uh, or same with Polyrath, I mean. Uh, Mantine is actually really, really good versus Rain, now that I'm thinking about it. Like, what do they even do versus it? Um, yeah, because even like, because water resists Ice Beam, so it, it'll just be neutral. Yeah. Um, and it'll resist everything else. It re but it's neutral to grass. Yeah, obviously, guess what, what you see up top, this is not the team. We're just putting our options up there, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Like, I am not <laughs> running Lapras, Cradilly, Mantine. Yeah, not, not if you want to win a game. No. Ever in life. Beautiful? No. <laughs> um, I haven't actually, uh, I haven't even tried Beautiful ever in life. Don't. Look at it. I'm going to show you something really quick. Highest stat is 100. Everything else? No. Bob Kiss. Yeah, guess what its best flying move is? Uh, who freaking knows? Is it fly? It's Aerial Ace. <laughs> well, technically it, Air Cutter. Technically Air aerial, Cutter. Isn't Aerial Ace like the best flying move in the game, technically? Uh, we have Brave Bird. You know, Brave Bird exists. Oh, yeah, we have Brave Bird. We have Brave Bird, right. Dual Wing Beat's but gone, like, though. Yeah, exactly. Dual Wing Beat's gone. Airstream is not here. Ooh. Airstream was. You know what we could kind of call Counter Rain? This guy. Air Rose is like one of my favorite Gen, Gen 2 mods. I think. I mean, like, we get completely accurate thunders. Um, 
We get like light screen. We could even run like Thunder Wave. I think Thunder Wave is like optimal on Ampharos actually now that I think about it. The only thing is it's like other moves. It's other moves are like actual garbage. Yeah, it doesn't get a lot of good coverage. Like the only thing I was ever used it for back in the day was like to beat Dragonites because they were weak to electricity and yeah. crystal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I mean, I'm trying to think like what else, what other value do we get from this guy? I mean, how, how bulky is this? I remember it being bulky. Oh, it's crazy bulky. It's got 90, 85, 90. Okay, so just, and then so they, and they have no way to hit it for super effective in rain. There's yeah. no ground mods on rain, which is good. Yeah, and then we can like Thunder Wave whatever we want. Uh, this is a hot take. I think that since um, since electric type or since poison types have 100% accurate toxic, I think electric types should have 100% accurate thunder wave. So I wouldn't mind thunder wave being 100% accurate and like no paralysis, just half the speed, and that would be the perfect thing. Yeah. No, actually, that that'd be perfect. I think that's like how how paralysis should be. So um, that would be the perfect thing. Um, this thing is energy ball. It does get energy ball. Or no. I mean, because like... It cause doesn't. Like, no, it doesn't. Oh, this, thing's coverage is, oh. this thing's coverage is garbage. Oh, my God. It's just bulky, and that's it. It gets focus blast. You know, if we ever need to hit a stack attack in the game, it doesn't exist. In. Right. <laughs> uh, does it get grass not? Uh, it, I don't think it gets any grass. Oh, it gets just cotton guard. Like... <laughs> cotton spore. <laughs> All right, let's, let's keep our options open. Let's keep going. What, what else would counter rain literally just freeze dry in general like good freeze dry users uh so mammoth swine is weak to water so that's out i like articuno just as a mod i know it's not a really good mod but i just like articuno a lot. boom i think we found it <clears throat> oh that's that's really good in rain like... yeah in rain that's that's nasty <clears throat> i think that's we should go with that really good yeah like like yeah articuno on paper isn't that good but i think we can build something here but like they can't hit Articuno in the rain either. Like it, it resists grass. It re um, doesn't resist water, but it's bulky enough to take the water. Move. Yeah, for sure. Uh, are you thinking? I'm thinking either scarf. Does it get tailwind? It does get tailwind. Yeah, yeah, yeah it gets tailwind. So you could scarf tailwind. You could like I'm just actually thinking bulk like, tailwind. You like can that, make recover. Yeah. You it can only gets snow cloak, unfortunately. Also. Uh, yeah, I think like hurricane freeze dry tailwinds. Do you think protect is good? Um, I do think protect is a good move just because sometimes you, I think it's a good move in a sense where like people are going to try to knock it out on the last turn of Tailwind. Yeah. So it like and, helps like, out with positioning and just getting. Yeah. So in. like you could just, and, they, and it's really hard to Oko this thing without a rock type move. Yeah. Let's actually, let's run some calcs <clears throat> real quick. Cause obviously like we only want to be able to one shot Ludicolo with like freeze dry and that. And you know, obviously guard jump goes down to freeze dry as well. So yeah, regardless. We're probably gonna end up running like a non-special attack nature, like probably run maybe even physical defense if we can take like a, a rock slide from Garchomp, that might be worth it. Uh, yeah, phys I, physical defense, no attack. Yeah, I think that might actually be possible. So, Articuno. I mean, there's, and there's, there's, all, there's always Charty Berry. Um, That's true. I actually, I, I think we'd get more value out of just running wiki. like Wiki Berry and Kalki yeah, to go down to 75. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, and so, like besides, even, even with guard chop, like I mean, there are times where like you'll get into position with it, but like if you can like get a fake out user next to this thing and then get a tailwind. Now guard chop actually has to run away. Yeah, what speed tier do we want? I think, um, I mean, the fastest that Togekiss gets is one forty five. So if we ran timid, we could, but then we don't have as much physical defense. So I'm not sure what what speed tier we want to hit. Well. So do you want to do you want the speed to you want to hit a certain speed tier before or after tailwind? Uh, after tailwind and pro actually before probably matters because after tailwind it's faster than everything because we were higher than two hundred one after tailwind regardless, uh, and two hundred one outspeeds like Crobat. I'm just trying to think of like one Pokemon that like if we're not under tailwind we're actually kind of scared of, and I can't really think of one especially if we're running bulk. Um. Oh, a lot of people are actually running max speed T-Tar right now. And Dragon Dance. Yeah, so let's just make sure we're faster than non-Dragon Danced up uh, T-Tar with the Jolly Nature. Yeah, that makes sense. Because the fastest it gets <laughs> is, yeah, 124. Yeah, we don't want to get outsped by a T-Tar, so um, here, let's go with the neutral nature for now. So what was that 125 we got to hit? That's pretty good. Yeah, 156 yeah. doesn't take too much investment. And now 
I think we go like bold. I think I think we go bold. Do you want to be like a max HP as well? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, because we can, we can pretty much just like do this, right? Just, so if just I put put some in defense and see what we can take. Yeah, because if we go bold, if we really just want to make sure that we take this rock slide, we can click this. It's my favorite button on Showdown. Ready? Survive against one. Calculated EVs. Oh, that's that's, that's twenty nice. eighty four. It's such a useful little tool. I use it all the time when I'm that's, like that's optimizing actually, spreads. Yeah, Picolytics is actually goaded. That's actually really good because like, that's not a lot of investment at all. Nope, and that's the minimum investment because it's hard to balance like your HP Ro and your. So um, rock, rock slide from who though? Titar or, or Life Orb or, Jolly Garchomp. Um. So like, does the stab difference on Titar make a difference? Like, is it yeah, than Garchomp's. It's it's like, certainly it? stronger. I just figured we had calc for Garchomp first. Well, yeah, Garchomp it, makes sense because Garchomp is higher used. Yeah, and we're we're always gonna be faster <laughs> than Titar, so this is just safer. Um, I'm actually thinking we should run Articuno on a rain team itself, just because like I was at, I was thinking I was thinking about that too, like because we do have to deal with like rock types and stuff like that. Yeah, so like um, you know Ludicolo, um, we have Tailwind on Articuno, so I'm kind of tempted to go Poly instead of like uh. Instead of Pelipper, because then we don't like yeah. have as big of a rock weakness. Yeah, 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 we don't want to have to deal with like double rock slide garbage from like Sand Veil, Chomp, and freaking T Char. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, double rock slide game's over. So, yeah, I mean, like now we just creep for one shot in Garchomp. It's only 44 investment, so. Uh, what was this? This is bold. So, 44 special attack. Look at that, that's all we need. Let me make sure we actually KO Ludicolo, because I think Ludicolo probably takes it a little bit better. Yeah, actually, wait, why doesn't that do nearly as much? Oh, that's Assault Vest. <laughs> there oh, we go. Oh, we exist. one shot. That, yeah, we one shot. <laughs> that doesn't exist. With, with Freeze Dry? Yeah. That's pretty awesome. So we one shot Garchomp and we one shot um Ludicolo. That's good. Uh, obviously we one shot Pelipper then. Just make sure. Pelipper, yeah, Freeze Dry one shots. Freeze Dry is such a good move, it just doesn't, there aren't a lot of good Pokemon with it in this game. Yeah. And I mean, we can just, let's see if we, so that's 171, that's 144, which means that if we go plus special defense, like plus special defense minus attack, and we can still hit 144, but now we get more special defense, we get 173, so we get two extra points now. <laughs> this yeah. is like the so this is a bit of the difference between like me and Moxie, right? So one, I only get this specific when like players' cup stuff is around, right? Yeah. And even then, like you you doing that switch where you get more out of like less investment, <laughs> like that's that, that's stuff that Moxie does very well compared to myself. Like I I'm I don't know I feel like I'm the EV guy where like I just like to <laughs> like you haven't this is. You guys will have already seen this by the time the video dropped, but Maine hasn't seen this yet. Look at this Manectric. <laughs> that's so specific. It's so specific. It, that's how I build my teams. In VGC, you can get hyper-specific. You can afford to do that. Speaking of hyper-specific, check this out. <laughs> 252, 252, baby. The only way. The only way you'll ever catch me running this guy. Yeah, anything else seems like a waste because it's not taking them hits anyway. Are you a Giga Drain guy or are you a or are you an Energy Ball guy? I'm personally Giga Drain. Um, I think probably on this bond in particular, Giga Drain is better. Right. Um, because you're hitting stuff the same and you're getting health back. Yeah. Water uh, grass resists a lot of stuff. And here's the thing: we got ice coverage on Articuno already. Do we want Ice Beam or can we be the rare Protect Ludicolo? I feel like protect. I, I'm always a protect guy because like the positioning that it gives you when people aren't ready for it is just so good. It's like a turn of nothing for the opponent sometimes. Yeah. Do you remember? Um, were you around for that one Ultra Series team with Sunny Day, Ludicolo, and Hobo? I don't think I was, but like there was a I was, there was a rain oh. team with Kyogre, Hobo, and they had a Ludicolo on it. And Ludicolo would like it would just attack. You know, it would. It would be like a rain abuser and have double speed. And then all at once when Ho-Oh hits the field, if it needs a boost, because uh, Ludicolo has double speed, it can flip the switch and turn on the sun. The sun right away. Yeah, and it like <laughs> it was such a nasty team. It was really cool. And like I I haven't seen that before that uh before that match, and it was such a crazy that's, revelation. That's insane. That's something that you 
and back then, right, you didn't really know your opponents, like, teams, even if they played, like, unless you got to watch, but, like, um, like, if you've met somebody in later rounds, you still didn't really know what their minds and moves were, unless you got to watch them play in another set, but you were probably also playing your own sets. You didn't get to watch other matches. Yeah. Uh, yeah do we want... Is Haze worth it in this format? I don't really think Haze is ever worth it. I think I think uh, Encore could be kind of cool. So I've seen people run Encore. Um, Encore is pretty nice. Um, I do like Haze because I feel like there are a lot of times where that come in handy. Um, yeah. Just with all the Swords Dance stuff. Um, um, it, could, I mean, it could be very, Haze could be very good against Scizor because like I think Ponyto takes a plus two bullet punch and then you can Haze away the boost. Yeah. <laughs> I think, but yeah, I think Encore, his. I mean, I'll let like, you make the choice. Like, it really doesn't okay. matter, in my opinion. I do think Encore is more versatile, I guess. All right. We'll Versus, go. like, hazing for one mind. So, it'll go with Encore. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll we'll get to the specifics of that spread in a minute. But now we get into the hard part. We have our three rain mons. And now we actually have to <laughs> use our brain, which really sucks. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, we have a small Raikou weakness, maybe? Yeah, uh, we can kind of patch that with our own Raikou, technically. Yeah. Just because, I, I mean, if we run Raikou, we get to run Thunder on it. Um, or it, just in general, like Electric types. Um, God, I wish Electrifier was better. Yeah, me too. Me too. I wish Manectric was better. Just kidding, he's goaded. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Jolteon at all? I, I'll be honest. Jolteon has everything it needs to succeed except for bulk. If it was, if it yeah. had, if it had an HP stat, I would be cool with it because then it could be like a special defensive monster. But nah. I use Jolteon in draft league, and oh my gosh, did that thing come through because it has such a versatile move pool. Yeah, I can see it there. I just in V just it's a lot tougher. Yeah, yeah, because I just can't beat the hits. Yeah. All right. Are you thinking Raikou? I think Raikou's probably fine. Yeah, Raikou's fine. And um, also, if, oh my god, if we run Raikou, I'm just gonna steal a spread from a from a recent team. Um, where is it? If you can't tell, I just recorded a video about the legendary beasts. Oh, that like screens Raikou. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, <laughs> I just <laughs> recorded awesome. one. So yeah, like screens Raikou actually is really nasty on rain. Uh, we don't even have to run Thunder. We could run Thunder over Volt Switch if you want. Um, I mean, we can go for it. Catch somebody off guard, blow them up. Yeah, because like good. I always think about like how often does Raikou need to pivot? Like, uh, not not that much, honestly. Because like, the only thing it would be afraid of is like Garchomp, and we have Rain and Kuno, you know. Yeah, and this actually lets us like. Actually, I wonder if this one shots Kiss. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but it's it's pretty strong, you know. Let's see, uh, Raikou. For there are yeah. ways. There are ways that there are ways to build your token Kiss that Alexa doesn't even one shot it. So I'm. <laughs> Yeah, like, oh my god, like, Tokus is so stupid. If it's 4 HP, do we KO? Let's just see. If it's, like, a, a fast kiss, maybe we can catch it off guard. If not, I think we just go with, like... Yeah, I think maybe we just go Volt Switch, then, for the overall utility. Yeah. Um... So, let's see. You know, we got we got these guys. Uh, an Intimidator? I'm, I mean... We got, pretty, we got pretty limited options on Intimidate Mons. What do you think? So, like, what do you, with the Intimidators, right? Because I know, like, a lot of people have this idea of having, like, a Fire Mon on a rain team. But, like, what are the grass types that we even care about? Very, very few, to be honest. Fire like, Mon on rain team was much more important when Ferrothorn existed and when Amoongus existed. Uh, but for now, like, yeah, there's it's, no real, it's just like, Scizor. It's literally just Scizor, which, to be fair, our team is kind of weak to Scizor. Well, no, uh, three of our mods resist. I mean, I mean, X scissor. I mean, X scissor, whatever. Get That's a little skull burn. That's true. That's um, true. But Intimidator was still pretty nice. But yeah, because, like, I mean, Arcanine is. Would the best Intimidator is what? Hit one top? Or would you say. Yeah, it probably I, I, is Hit one top. I would say, as, as an Intimidator, uh, Hit one top is the best just because of the overall utility. But, like, Arcanine has, a like, a monopoly on fire types right now, where if you need a fire type and an Intimidator, there's no reason not to choose it. Man. There's an incinero when you need one. Splash. <laughs> splash. Literally running. just splash him on a team. Did not matter what it was. The only reason you wouldn't use incinero is if it was already in the team builder. Pretty much. Um, 
I mean, there's some decent fire types in here, but like they, they don't have the intimidated force. Yeah, like the the best we could do with a, with a different fire type was like Hurricane Moltres, and we already have a Hurricane user. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm, I think Arcanine's probably best in this in this situation. Yeah, I do think it'll it'll give us what we need, yeah. especially team, with like this, with this, the bulk. Like we can yeah. burn a guard chomp or something, or intimidate it, get our tailwind up. Bro, look at how fat this team is. <laughs> look at how <laughs> this is stupid fat. Like it's it's crazy. Uh, obviously, like Polytoad's gonna be defensive, but um, do I have an Arcanine spread? I have this Arcanine. This is like a very basic Arcanine. So all it does is it's it's just fat Arcanine. It is you fast. want double snarl? Oh, With hell the... yeah. Actually, ooh, you know what we could do? What we could do is instead of snarl, we run close combat. Yeah, that could hit think, like T-Tar. Yeah, because think about like, we 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 can like beat T-Tar, right? But T-Tar will always show up to the matchup. Yeah. Just because it, it wants to get sand up. So if we run CC, we can, can we get, get rid of it one thing real, real fast? Yeah. Let me actually see. Um, They'll think they're safe with their Lumberry trying to Dragon Dance. Let's see. Uh, Tyranitar. Let's go with max HP. Uh, we're running. Is it four attack? Yeah, it's four attack. We'll increase it if we need to, though, because a lot of the. A lot of like the defensive EVs are just dumped into HP because it's fine, you know. Yeah, for sure. Uh, do, you, do you go max speed on Arcanine? Do you like speed creep it to other stuff? I just sped crept it for base nineties. So how much would we need to guarantee a one shot? We could. I mean, this team's already really fat. We can afford one forty attack. We can afford the one forty attack, in my opinion. Yeah, because if Arcanine, we wouldn't even bring Arcanine to opposing rain matchups anyway, because we have our own launch for that. Yeah. So, like, this is fine. Like, think about like all of the bulk we have. We got screens, Raikou, we got Intimidate, we got Willow. We're fine running this. This is like this is an yeah. offensive Arcanine with Willow Wisp. That's all it is. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's no, fine. Um, and then I don't think we should be, do we struggle with Milotic at all? I mean, Raikou could vote, but like Raikou vote switching would hit it and it would switch out. No, we have grass as no, well, so no. right we have here, freeze dry. This is, this is our I don't want to lose to Milotic button. Yeah, Prayer Song is so good. Yeah. <laughs> Just got a Steam like, message. There we go. Go away. There, there'll be times <laughs> where like I'm playing with Polytoad and I will click, what's it called? Like Parish Song instead of picking up a knockout because there's only two mods left. Just to yeah. give that despair to the opponent like this game is over there is no comeback potential polytoad is so good it's actually so good what what, what is our last mod? i'm actually struggling here i don't know what we would put here we have kind of i mean we have a fire water grass core we could... do you want to look at the usage and see what not what we're what we're missing yeah i mean we kind of technically lose to Cresselia if not for polytoad that's kind of like a guaranteed win um, but we would want something to hit it. Actually, I think we can literally just put Scizor on the team and we're good. Yeah, Scizor and Rain, right? Yeah, literally just Scizor and Rain. I don't know why that took me a minute to think about here. Lumberry. There we go. Sword Stance. <laughs> Bullet Punch. Technician. technician. Yeah, Technician. Uh, protect. And uh, X Scissor. We could also Choice Bandit if we want to go even more offensive. But I think we get a lot more out of Sword Stance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Um, uh, we, we go something like Voodoo actually, Polo. Actually, hold on. If we already got Volt Switch, maybe we do Choice Bandit. Maybe. Hear me out. Hear me out, right? So think about the situation, right? We bring to a matchup. We got our Raikou on lead, and we got our screens up. We also let we off Arcanine, up. right? Yeah. And then we Volt Switch with our Raikou, and we get in, and, and we hard switch out our, our Arcanine. Into rain? Yeah. And the, no, so so we lead off Raikou and Arcanine, right? Get Intimidate, get Screens. Next turn, Volt Switch the Raikou and Hard Switch the Arcanine. Because the Hard Switch goes first, we get in the Scizor. What comes into the Raikou slot? The Arcanine. The Arcanine. And then and then we U-turn, and then they're stuck in the the Volt Switch U-turn uh, Vortex. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually I'm actually thinking the Choice Band's kind of clean then. Choice Band is probably clean, and like you can also definitely pick up knockouts or stuff that I think they can survive. Yeah, and then we get to run Aerial Ace because it's the only move that makes sense there. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, uh, I'm liking this so far. I mean, we just got to make a Polytoad spread and then we're good. Um, 
what special attackers really even take it out? Because usually when I do Politoed stuff, it's like more physically bulky. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm more of a physical guy. I think in this format, physical is really important. Like taking a plus two life orb scissor hits probably really good. Yeah. So that would be ideal. Let's see. So let's give it a life orb. And then like after that, we just dump special defense, I would think. Yeah. Life orb, uh, plus two. Thank X goodness scissor. for like this, uh, for this scissor, because like the team, even like the team, like looks strong, but it also looks like slow play kind of strong. Oh yeah, like we're we're pivoting all <laughs> over the place. Literally every game we're pivoting. It's like slow play strong. And it's like I right, so, uh, but can that we... scissor can definitely get in position. Oh my god, the scissor! Punch. What you tell me? Life orb scissor always one shots or it always comes close at the very least. That's dumb. All right, non life orb, <laughs> non life orb scissor. <laughs> Okay, that's easier. That's that's more manageable. Non life orb scissor, yeah, easy. Let's give him uh, there. Actually, we can probably get it to like um, let's make it life orb and let's just make it like a 50-50 shot. Why not? Or like sixty percent. Like sixty percent survival. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, that sounds fine. Because at the very because life orb scissor is pretty high in usage. <clears throat> in my like worst case scenario, you know. Actually, it's only seven percent. But still, we're gonna run into it. Yeah. Worst case, we just get a free switch into something else. Yeah, and physical defense is really good in this format. So let's let's see. So fifty yeah. percent. There we go. Thirty thirty one percent chance to Oko. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Here, let me make sure it's the same probability for. Yeah, so two o four. Bold, two o four. That's insane. No one resisted hit. Still, the fact that it can knock out. Yeah, that's actually absurd. <laughs> That is wild. On the special side, do we lose anything because of this? Can we take a Rotom Wash Thunderbolt? That's pretty much all we need to make sure. Pretty much. Rotom Wash. Even though we have the uh, Giga Drain for that nonsense. Yeah, just gotta play it safe, you know. Uh, T bolts. Yeah, we eat that. Uh, you know, as long as it's not, you know, plus two, but that's still fine. Uh, yeah, uh, Drizzle. Full Shizzle, Swift Swim, Snow Cloak. I like this team. I think this is actually a really cool team. Yeah, it's actually pretty awesome. All right. It Look. looks very, so like, I mean, it looks very, very like uh, tournament ready-ish. Um, yeah. like Definitely it, not the, the typical, let's just run some stuff entertainment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, it's a, it looks like a good team. It looks like a good rain team with Articuno on it. Yeah, right? Like, it kind of kind of does look like just rain and we dumped Articuno on there. But this Articuno is going to be the tech, I guarantee you. Let's do let's do one battle on my channel to to whet their appetites for more on yours. Go for just it. Just because we can't, like, can't leave them hanging. Like, oh, you built this whole team, you're not even going to do one battle? Yeah, we're, we'll do one. <laughs> we'll do one. And then you got to go over to Main's channel, show them some love, and watch it over there. And why does this... No, no. Why does this team go crazy versus theirs? Look at it. Look at the Articuno lead. Look at the Articuno lead. T-Tar might come in the back, but like that doesn't matter to us. Yeah, I'm um, thinking we can probably lead we can off. freeze dry the Gyarados. They can't hit us with anything. Yeah, I'm thinking like Articuno. Um, <clears throat> I kind of want to. We uh, could lead. I'm worried about their Raikou a little bit. Yeah, I mean, Raikou isn't that bad if we can get the damage off. I think what we can do is we can lead off Articuno, Ludicolo, and if they end up leading off Raikou, we just go Politoed and get immediate damage off on that thing, since it's it's just going to set up screens anyways. Yeah, that sounds fine. And then I think we always just bring Scizor in the back. Yeah, it hits one, two, hits a bunch of these things. Yeah, okay. I'm actually pretty oh. cool with this. Yeah, they didn't even lead it. Um, They're going to Trick Room is my main issue um, with the Cresselia. So I kind of just want to go for Freeze Dry on Rotom and Fake Out. Fake so, Out, yeah, because they can't stop that. Yeah, because then they just don't get the Trick Room off. Because they Did both switch. Life. Yeah, we always take that. That looks like Specs damage because we're... Yeah, that's a lot. We're bulky. Yeah, we're, we're very um, bulky. Uh, and we can go into Politoed here. Actually, I think. Are they, are they, I mean, but are they going to protect the Heatran and go for Trick Room again? Yeah, uh, I would assume so. But we have. Yeah, I guess the, the damage on Crest could still be nice, and they get rain up, and they can't hit us. Yeah, and even if they, I mean, they're probably going to protect the Heatran, but 
in my opinion, there's no reason to make that call because uh, our win con is getting Chris Elliott by itself and clicking Parish Song. Yeah, so let's go for that. So let's just try to KO Heatran if we can. Yeah, and like I said, like there's there's not much that they can do about this because now we get Scald on the on the Heatran. Yeah, either way, so like they, they either they yeah. protect or they switch out. And I'm gonna go hard in the Scizor because they yeah, don't care. They, they, they absolutely have to. <laughs> oh, that's absolute garbage. I don't even know. I think got I got freaking um sunny day. If you guys want to see us redeem ourselves, check out Main's channel. <laughs> I that I, is I, such I, low ladder garbage. <laughs> I'm not. E I, this is my testing account. I'm not even that low. Like, <laughs> I think that was actually kind of heat, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm 1316 on my test account, so oh, it's not so, that yeah, low. So, that's like mid ladder. That's like best, that's, that's best of one trash. <laughs> I, I'm Yo. kind of impressed. I'm honestly kind of impressed to be honest. They knew what they were doing in that situation. They're like, man, they're gonna go into Polytoad. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but they got us. And if you want to see us do better on Main's channel, uh, let's you know just hop over there. Link in description. And uh, I mean, yeah, let's just see them over there, right, man? Yep. And I, I see you guys come through. I'm chill. Yeah. Got and if you enjoyed this, leave a like and I'll see you guys over there. Bye.